So I'm going to start my day off with some papayas. I'm going to grab three or four really ripe ones. I'll get four ripe ones. Just got back from an audiobook walk, so I've definitely burned a few calories there. Haven't eaten anything today yet, so this will be breaking my fast. But uh, yeah, I want to grab the soft ones. If there aren't super soft ones available, then maybe I'll just have to go to the market and get some. But I think I can get by with these ones right here. These look pretty good. Just got to squeeze them up. Be gentle when you squeeze them. Um, yeah, this will do. All right, that's breakfast. I'm going to go have those four papayas. I love having these local Hawaiian papayas for breakfast. To get them ready for a meal, all I do is cut them in half and take out the seeds gently with a spoon, being sure not to scrape out too much or any of the flesh out with them. The Hawaiian papayas here in Hawaii are my favorite type of papayas. I've had papayas from around the world, like Mexico, Costa Rica, Panama, and Thailand, but these Hawaiian ones are definitely my favorite. They're calorie dense enough to fill me up in minutes and are really full of nutrients to keep my body healthy. Also. They're super high in water content, so I don't need to drink any water with them. Another big reason I love papayas is because they digest so nicely. They leave me feeling totally satisfied, but never heavy or fatigued. They're like the best baby food ever if you want to feed a young child who wants to grow up to be a superman or superwoman. But honestly, the main reason I eat them is because they taste so freaking good, and I've never had a bad experience with them ever. They're also extremely affordable at just 30 to 50 cents each, so that's a big perk too. This book just came in the mail. And when it comes to avocados, I absolutely love them. I've been eating three to four a day now for a few years. I find they help me keep on weight and leave me feeling satisfied in a way other fruits just can't compare. All right, so I've so far had the papayas, I've had the avocados, and now it's 1.20 in the afternoon, I haven't eaten anything, I've gotten a bit carried away with some uh, video editing. Just filmed a video there, and been editing on my new stand-up desk, super sick. Also check out this book by Tim Ferriss, been reading that today. So, been getting a bit carried away with uh, other things, I haven't been focusing on food too much today. But when it does come time for food, you want to focus on the fruit, absolutely. Focus on the fruit, focus on the fruit, focus on the fruit. You get more of what you focus on in life, so why not focus on the fruit, am I right? Anyways, I'm going to head to the uh, market now and see what I can get at the market. Here's my fruit stash, by the way. It's not the biggest right now, but it's a start. I've got bananas on this section right here. A few more bananas here, a little bit of ginger for my salads and smoothies, um, a few avocados, a couple tomatoes, shout out to Ryan for hooking me up with these tomatoes, look at that one, Whoa, it's like the Vortex bro. And um, this was left here, someone left it here, Irish moss, this stuff smells man, that stuff smells funny, if you've ever smelt that man, Whew, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this was left here as well, almond butter, and or walnut butter and almond butter. And then some Krakow, a bit of chocolate there, someone left. And um, oh, another big avocado here. Should put that the rest of them. They're all different varieties of avocados. And a few more papayas and then some dulse. Dulse is nice and salty for salads. And then someone left some nori and some apple juice there. And that's, that's Joey's bananas there, my roommate. And in the fridge we got um, some chia. Sam left her chia. Thanks, Sam. And Sam left her hemp seed. Um, the only seed I really have is hemp seed if I, if I am going to have seed, but never really have chia, but I might try it in a smoothie or something. Um, and then red pepper, that was really good in my salad last night. This was uh, fermented vegetables, no salt at all, just Sam got it. She left it here as well. And then uh, some, uh, what are these called? J jabata kaba, jabuta kaba, j jabata kaba fruit off the tree from Megan Elizabeth, that was nice of her. Anyways, the rest is Joey's stuff. I don't have any stuff there. But anyways, I'm gonna head to the market now. Always recommend bringing a box with you to the market or your own plastic bag so you don't have to use theirs. It's really easy, I just bring the box. I just bring the box back every time. Where you headed, bro? Oh yeah, I, s I finally saw it. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. Welcome to today's vlog, bro. Oh, sweet. So 
a little what I eat in a day. Oh, nice. I just ate, what do you eat in a day? I just ate some of your bacteria. Oh, that's right. That's right. Eat it up, baby. Into the market, dude. We're in sync. Hey, two days, two for two. I know. Thank you. So we got some papayas, and we got some avocados, and some lettuce. All this for 20 bucks. That's no sick, dude. Oh yeah. man. You got okay. it all done here? No, not all of it. Just uh, the coloring inside right there. And the New Orleans. We're gonna continue with the turtle here in a while. Beautiful, bro. Take a little break right now. Let it chill for a little while. Grab, I want to taste the difference between these ones. But different ones? These from a different lady. Yeah. Those two from a different lady. I want to try the difference. I like that one better. It's cheaper as well. I just went to the farmer's market every day. Just a couple of times for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It was so awesome. Good life, man. Yeah. Every time I walk out this door, like I walked out the door, I saw Charles. I'm like, yeah. hey, what's up, Charles? I walk back here, I see you. Yeah. When I'm at the market, I see Carla. Yeah, I just meet people everywhere. I look at the window, I see Ryan. I look at the window, I see Drew or Megan. Mm -hmm. Like, constantly friends here, man. And when did you first get into raw food? Um, I guess I've been into raw food since I went vegan, like one and a half years ago, a little bit longer. Oh, so you're one and a half years now into it. Yeah, a little what bit were you longer. Before that, just like everyone else. Yeah, a lot of meat, a lot of cheese. Fucking zombie? No, not yeah, a fucking zombie. <laughs> fucking, you gotta get that protein. Damn. Bro. Um, no, I'm happy I found this lifestyle for sure. Fucking, you are so disgusted by my old habits of eating. How old are you now? 23. So I'm 23. happy I found this in such mm. an early age as well. Are you considered a weirdo back home? Your friends? No, I don't think so. No, veganism is getting big and sweet. But yeah, my mom is almost vegan now. I wish for birthday or uh, Christmas present last year. It's like, what do you want? I was like, go vegan for January. Oh. And she was like, all right, I'll do that. For a month? Yeah, yeah, for a month. And then she really liked it, felt better. And now she's almost vegan, which is awesome. She has some fish once in a while, but... I know, I'm the same way. She'll be like, vegan, 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 and some eggs. Yeah, Vegan, yeah. vegan, and some cheese. Yeah, yeah. Vegan, 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 and a little bit of... Like, That's a great start. I mean, it's harder for them to get into it. I mean, they're yeah. so used to their old habits and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They're being printed that they need the eggs. It's pretty hard to... And they can, they can justify it by saying, you know, I've made it 50 years, I'm still alive, mm -hmm. and all I've been eating is shit. So I can yeah. surely get away with a little bit of shit. Yeah, yeah. But you and I are like, fuck, I just want to be clean 100%. Yeah. Yes. You're so close, I can't let you in. Sorry, I just can't. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my Damn. god! No! Show yes. myself how he's used! No! Fuck! No! No! Oh my god! Fuck! Oh my god, it just sucks! No! Damn! Yeah, bro. Nice. About to start editing, and uh, I want to have some avocado before I edit, so I'm gonna cut into a nice ripe one here and uh, enjoy. These are so damn good, man. I can't get enough. I don't know how I used to do low fat. Like low, low fat. I don't know how I used to do overt free. Well, I guess I do. I was really inspired to do overt free. That's what it comes down to, really. Oh, I'm salivating, man, just thinking about it. Mmm. Mmm, wow. All I have to do is hold it, squeeze it, and visualize eating it, and my saliva glands just start pumping out the saliva. That's how you know you're designed for fruit. Where am I gonna put this camera?
Let's get into this, shall we? You can cut your avocado any way you want, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's good. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. It's my first time using a spoon in a while. Mmm. Sorry for the people who don't like moaning. It's just how I eat. Even when I'm by myself, I'll moan. Pleasure. Mouthgasm. This is seriously so good. Cool. Well, my second avocado of the day, and it's like three thirty. Hmm. I'll eat that a little bit later. Hmm. It's really damn good, man. Like flavor, like berry flavor. The texture, man. So creamy and soft. Mm. Wow. It's a good day to be fraternity. It's a good life to be fraternity. Mmm. If I was told when I was growing up, when I was like, you know, five years old or 10 years old or 15 years old, someone came and told me, Ted, you're gonna eat nothing but fruit when you're older. You know, some vegetables every now and then, but 99.9% .9 of your calories are gonna come from fruit. I would've asked them, on what planet? It definitely wasn't gonna be this planet. I was only to the, Sweets and pizzas and bagels and breads. But man, this is pleasurable. Hmm. I can't imagine any other way of living now. Alright, time to get to work. What's up? Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> mm. That's electrolytes. Hey, what's going on? I met you at Fruit Fest. How's it going? Nice Good to see you again. See you again too, bro. It's Ted, right? That's right. Timmy. Timmy, I just looked at your Instagram. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's salad time, and the first step to making a salad is grabbing the ingredients. Can I get some lo mein lo mein? Lo mein lo mein, sure. How many lo mein one? Uh, lo mein two. Mm -hmm. Nice. Those look good. Thank you. Uh, no bag. What? No box. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, uh, uh, ripe avocado. No, I don't. I, oh, red pepper. How much for red pepper? This one's. Let me see. Pepper. Two Two dollars and fifty cents for one pepper. Yeah. Wow. Um. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot. That? Yeah, how much for that? $1. Cool. Yeah, two, four, six, seven dollar fifty. Oh, give me seven dollars. Seven? Okay, good deal. Thank you. Salad tonight. Salad tonight. Raw vegan salad. Do you know what a vegan is? No. No? A vegan you're is gonna someone... Make a, you're gonna make a Caesar <laughs> salad? No, not Caesar salad. <laughs> a vegan salad. Vegan thank you, salad. Pam. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. I All got right. it. Yeah. Bye-bye.
Bye, Sarah. Good night. Once you have all the ingredients, it's time to rinse the lettuce. All right, so now the lettuce is washed, the green onion is washed. It looks like this. And now I'm just gonna chop them all up, chop, 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 chop on the cutting board here, and then I will put them back in the bowl all chopped up, and then we'll add the avocado and the red pepper. Yeah. Green onion is chopped, lettuce is chopped. Dude, a red pepper was $2.50. That's how much it was? Yeah. I don't think it would be worth that, dude. Alright, so now we got the avocado in here. I'm gonna mash it all in, massage it all in with my hands. Make sure it all gets in there evenly spread, and at the same time, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm going in there, I'm squeezing, squeeze. I want this pulverized. You, know, so you could blend it pre-hand, and then, I mean, before you put it in here, and then pour it all in, but I like this better, because every now and then you get a nice big chunk of avocado as well. All right, time to eat. Thanks for watching. Good day in the life. Good everything I eat in a day. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Dude, it's ridiculous. <laughs> is it nice? You want to take a bite? Sure, I'll try it. I try it with a little bit of the hemp seed. Throw it on my spoon. Legit, a little gingery, yeah, but pretty good. No, that's pretty dope. Cool, man. That's really good. Good, that knows what's up. So, what do you got? I got steamed broccoli, chickpeas, quinoa, some other veggies. Too easy, man. So good. What sauce? Tamari, Tamari. Yeah. gluten free soy sauce. If you're sensitive to gluten, like most people are, once they stop consuming it, tamari is where it's at. But if you don't want any uh, super, super high salt stuff. You can get low salt tomorrow, or you just use some dulse like this. Mm. All right, cheese. Five bucks. Yeah, you want hundred bucks? It's cheaper than a ticket. Yeah, you know? Good, right? Nice. Yeah, I was like, mm. I get the pumpkin. Stop. Donkey balls. Yeah. Back to really good. We should try to. Let's get beach day, Tyler. Next time. Sunday. We're going Sunday? Uh, just yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Cool. Photo exchanges, what's that mean? Who is like, you know, I get you in support, I do shit. You hit me in support, you say, or you can, whatever you want. Cool. Yeah. Crazies. Crazies.